tested. Check here. This is 1 minus probability of A, which according to the rule is probability of A bar and probability of B bar. Whatever is here extra, that is transfer the other side. You are given with this value and you are given with this value. Those two values are substituted and this step they are simplified and it is giving us probability of A bar plus probability of B bar is equal to 1.2 which is the required answer. Question number 3. What is the question number 3? Suppose A comma B B two events such that such that probability of A is equal to 0.5 probability of B is equal to 0.4 probability of A intersection B is equal to 0.3 then find probability of A does not occur second one probability of B does not occur. Probability of not B rather neither A. Probability of just I will modify the question here. Probability of neither A nor B occur. Yes. The solution now. Check this. The probability of A does not occur means a should not happen in the sample space if this is the sample space if this is A other than A outside of the sample space is A not happening in other words it is mu minus A mu minus A that is nothing but A complement so probability of A bar is our requirement probability of A bar requirement is nothing but 1 minus probability of A if you look into the question, the given data, probability of A is 0.5. So, 1 minus 0.5, which amounts to 0.5. So, probability of A bar mean, in ordinary words, probability of A does not occur is nothing but 0.5. Now, probability of A bar intersection B bar is the second part. What do you mean by intersection and together? Neither A should happen nor B should happen. So, you know that A bar intersection B bar is equivalent to A union mu A union B whole complement. This is known as the De Morgan loss. De Morgan law of complement. This is basic, uh, this is a basic set theory de morgan law of complement a bar intersection b bar is nothing but a union b whole complement if you are going for the probability parts you will get probability of a bar intersection b bar plus probability of a union b whole bar b these two together these two together will give you one yes this probability of a union b these two together will give you 1. So, if you want probability of A bar intersection B bar, this is nothing but 1 minus probability of A union B. Use that concept here. So, you will get 1 minus probability of A union B. And uh, probability of A union B is nothing but again 1 minus probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. This is based on what? This is based on the addition theorem of probability. So, this is nothing but 1 minus 0.5 plus 0.4 minus 0.3. So, that amounts to 0 0.45, 0 0.9 minus 0.3. So, this is 1 minus 0 0.6 which is equal to 0 0.4. So, probability of A bar intersection B bar is 0 0.4. Probability of A bar 
which is nothing but probability of A does not occur is what? 0.5. This concludes this particular problem. Now we will see the next question. The next question is if A comma B are two events A subset of B then probability of B minus A probability of B minus A is probability of B minus probability of A. This in itself is not a question but this forms basis for the next question which is very important the addition theorem of probability. Check. From basic uh, set theory, if this is the mu, you know this B and uh, B is containing A. So, that is the meaning of subset. What is the meaning of subset? Every element present in A is also present in B. That is the meaning of subset. So, if A is subset of B, you are going to have the figure, the Venn diagram like this. Now check, I want n of b minus a, n means the cardinal number of b minus a. The cardinal number of b minus a means the elements present in this uh, region, this region elements. So that region elements are nothing but the number of b elements by number of a elements. Now you are interested in probability of b minus a, probability of b minus a you know that the number of elements present in B minus A by the number of elements in the sample space. That is the basic definition of what the fundamental theorem of fundamental definition of probability. Number of elements in favorable by number of elements in the sample space. So that is nothing but N of B minus N of A by N of S. So this you separate N of B by N of S minus n of a by n of s. This again become probability of b minus probability of a. Hence, we have this result. What is that result? Probability of b minus a is nothing but probability of b minus probability of a whenever, whenever uh, a is a subset of b. So, this result we will use in the second one. We will go to the next question now. This is very important. Number of times asked for essay question. The question can be asked like this. State and prove addition theorem of addition theorem of probability. This is a question. Number of times asked the same question can also be framed as if A is subset of sample space, B subset of sample space or two events of a sample space of a sample space then probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Either they can ask this or this. This is the statement of the addition theorem of probability. Very important for essay question. What we do here? First, usually from our basic set theory, our universal set assumes sample space the event A, event B. You may be wondering what happens when there is no intersection. We will consider that case also. First, this is the case where A and B together can also happen. Okay. Now, let us try to identify the different regions by which the A union B is made up. A union B is made up of three regions. One region here, second region here, 
third region here. Yes, region 1, region 1. What is the region 1 and region 2 and region 3? Those three together when added make up what you call A union B. Now here you see, what is the region 1? Present in A but not in B. A part contains purely A and some part belonging to B. And what is the second part? Second part is which is common to both 